Hello guys, welcome to tutorial number six, part two. In today's lesson, I'll be creating one of these drawers. Then the last lesson, we created this by putting together a few different components so you can literally break it apart quite easily. I'll just undo that. But in today's lesson, we want to make this whole thing from one box. That includes the detailing and the handle you can see. Now to create a lot of the objects in 3D Studio Max, you might use a lot of different techniques in order to make it look right. There's no right or wrong way when making objects in this program. So you just have to apply whatever knowledge you have with regards to making certain things. Now let's get started. I'm going to leave these two on uh, so we can use them as a reference. And I'll start off by going to to the command panel, make sure we've got geometry selected and then select the box. Just click and drag from any viewport and try and create something similar to what I have here. Maximize this. Maybe bring it up a little bit. And so yeah, we're ready to get started. From here, go over to your modify panel and apply the edit poly modifier. As soon as you apply that, we have these rollouts down here. Go ahead and select the polygon. Then click on the front face. And then just click and drag this or use this little bar here to scroll down. We'll start off by insetting a little bit. So just click and drag upwards to inset inwards. So I think that's pretty cool. And then go ahead and extrude it inwards. Now we're trying to create the details right now and then inset again. So don't forget if you make a mistake, control Z will take you back a step. And then let's extrude that one more time. Now we can't really see what we're doing from this angle. Uh, you can always go back to your four viewports to use this as a reference window or something. If not, then you can always rotate this to try and view it from a different angle. I'm just going to undo that and do it again. Select to extrude. Then that's all right. And now we want to use the bevel tool. So just click and drag and then let it come in a little bit and that's all right with me. Get your inset tool again. Just inset it up to about that much. And then this time, get your select and uniform scale tool and just make that Hit on the red square and just bring it in. And I think that size is all right. Maybe make it a bit bigger, about that much. Go ahead and extrude it inwards. Doesn't need to go that far. And then inset so you can zoom in quite close to see what you're doing. And inset it slightly and then extrude it outwards. Now we are just creating the handle right now. And then maybe get the bevel want to make it a little bit bigger here something like that extrude it again and then use the bevel tool one more time just to give it a bit of detail now you can already see what we've got here it's quite similar to what we created obviously our handle is a little bit bigger but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. What you now need to do is go back to your polygon. Make sure that's still selected. Get your select and move tool. Just click on the top and delete from there. If not, we might try and use that to give our model a little bit of thickness. So just go ahead, um, scroll back down, get your inset tool. Just inset it a little bit and then just extrude it down 
and yeah you can already see make sure you don't go too far once you see the black color pop up just go back a little step and i think that's it and there you go we've literally created a draw from one box but we've made it with quite a lot of detail and uh, it looks quite nice now i'm going to show you how to separate the handle from the rest of the object because we might want to make that different material when it comes to rendering. So with your polygon tool still selected, go over to the select and move tool. Now we're going to select this. So how to do that, maybe go over to your top viewport or let's use the left viewport or any viewport where your, where your object appears in this way. So just zoom in and then click and drag you get a little square and then let go that's allowed us to select our whole handle section I'm happy with that now what you need to do is drag uh, this these rollouts down and then go over to edit geometry and then you notice we've got detach here as soon as you click that you notice that object is not selected anymore that's because it's now a freestanding object so if I go ahead and um, or maybe hit create and then that allows you to deselect all objects I'm gonna apply a material to this and you're gonna see what happens so I'll quickly go over to my material editor um, I won't create any new material I might just change the color to that make it make it red for example and then drop it in now you notice we've got that as red and this one here I'll apply gray to that and that's gray press F4 to see the results maybe let me try a different color other than red it's too bright um, yeah maybe this that's better oh no yeah that's all right okay close that and so there you go we've we've made that with quite a lot of detail we've even separated that we've got thickness uh, and everything really so all we need to do is build a shell around that now this is now this is quite detailed compared to what we made earlier but this is good when you want to make a scene where you you might leave it opened just to show that you've actually modeled the whole the whole thing rather than bits of it so i'm just going to use this as our support for our new drawer so go ahead and delete so i'm going to delete some bits here now if you didn't follow the last lesson you can get this model by following the links within this tutorial's description so I'll delete that and I'll delete that as well. So I'll select these two objects and group them for now. So it makes it easier for us to select and drag them around. So don't forget with 3D Studio Max, there's no right or wrong way of doing things. You just, especially if you want to make a particular render, um, all you need to do is focus on how you're going to achieve the end result as quickly as possible. Um, so I'm just going to resize that a little bit again. Don't want it too big. And then shift. Hold down shift and drag that up. That allows us to duplicate our object. That's looking good. Then I'm just going to take this this original element and move it up a little bit. I'm quite happy with that. And then maybe you want to move it out a little bit so it looks like it's open. And there you go, it is open. Well, I'm just gonna make the material similar and see how that looks. If not, I'll just gray them all out. So there you go.
that's what we've made within the last few minutes. It may seem complicated sometimes, but once you understand how to make these, you become much easier when creating more complex objects. So it's through these basic skills you're going to move on to the next level, basically. So yeah, as for today's tutorial, I'm going to end it there. But I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson, which will be tutorial number seven of series two. Thank you for tuning up today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.